good morning. So a fun start to this vlog. Um, it's Saturday morning. It's about 9 a.m. I was getting ready. I was going to film a unhaul video. I was going to go to the library. I was going to get started because we have a block party today and I have to make some pasta salad and I was going to do laundry and do all these things. And Minnie got a hold of a turtle and cracked its shell. So now we're going to bring it to the animal hospital because we are obviously not going to let it just like hang out in our yard and die. So we're bringing it to the animal hospital. So our time, our like plans have changed. So I have no idea what I'm going to be doing right now. But I did start a new book this morning and it's Forget You Know Me by Jessica Strasser. And I'm only about 55 pages in. This is going to be my book for friendship. Um, it follows a two friends and they have kind of grown apart recently. And they're having this like girls night video chat and one of them has to go deal with one of their children. And then the other one sees something that she probably shouldn't have seen and she kind of freaks out and drives to her friend's house. Now her friend is kind of denying things are happening and we don't know much more than that. So I'm excited to keep reading, but I've got to go and deal with this turtle. So I will check in with you guys after. Hey guys, so it is much later. It's about 2 something, to almost 2.30 I guess. Today has not gone as planned at all. Um, so after that whole turtle incident, we brought it to the hospital and we went to um, a coffee shop really quick to um, get something to eat really fast since I didn't get to eat before we brought the turtle to the hospital. And then we went to the library because I had some books that I had to return. Originally this morning I wanted to film an unhaul so I can also go to the library and unhaul books while I was there. But just ended up returning the library books. And those weren't like any library books that you've missed with me. It was just books that I borrowed for my students for a research project. Um, but I did end up going downstairs because I ended up buying a whole bunch of books for... Um, my librarian does this thing where she does like PTO always buys our students a book but she also lets um kids like pick out books for home um obviously the P like I said the PTO book but like she also gives out like donated books but like this year there wasn't a lot of choice and I know my kids had kind of a hard time picking books because there wasn't a lot of chapter books so I was like you know what let me go see if I could fill this up with some more chapter books so I found like 34 chapter books and I ended up getting them for like $9.50 um, because teachers get a 50% off discount. I ended up buying some books full myself because I'm dangerous like that. Um, we came home. Um, well, we went to the dollar store and then we went home, started making our like stuff for the, the party and Minnie gets a hold of a baby bunny. So like it's like, ugh. So also we called... So not only did she get a hold of this baby bunny, who is apparently still breathing, Patrick left it, so hopefully the mom will be able to find the baby bunny and, like, bring it back home. Um, when we called for the update on the turtle, they unfortunately had to euthanize it um, because of the destruction that kind of happened. Like, she didn't eat it, but just, like, the with the shell and all that, like, it just wasn't going to make it. But in the process, they found that it was a female and she had three eggs. So they were able to at least save the eggs. So at least it was like a good deed bringing it there because we, even though we couldn't save the turtle, we at least saved the babies. But one of those crazy days. Then we went to Target just now because we realized that we need lawn chairs for this party. And we don't have lawn chairs because we just haven't needed them in the past. So we had to go buy those. And now I'm going to film a book haul. I was originally going to film it on haul, but I think I'm going to film this book haul first and then see if I have more time. If I have more time, I'll film an unhaul, but this day is not going as planned at all. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I just wanted to do a quick update there and I'll see you guys after. Hey guys, so it's about a little after seven and we're just been hanging out. Um, we got back from the block party, made like a new best friend. She's like due literally the month after we are, which is so cool. So when we're taking like the same maternity leave, we're both teachers. Like it's so funny. Um, so we made really good friends. So I'm glad that we went. Um, Minnie unfortunately got to another bunny. We think that they made their like burrow right next to our house. So I don't know what we're going to do, but she got to another one, three animals in one day. I just like so draining so, um so we're just hanging out I was just updating my goodreads to match my new videos so I posted a book haul and a book on haul 
Um, so it's just updating my Goodreads, and I thought it was really funny that I feel like I keep bordering this, like, 160 number, where, like, I have 160 books that I haven't read on my shelf, and then I'll start trickling down, and then I'll buy books, and then it goes right back to 160, like, almost every single time, and sure enough, 161 on the dot, and I'm like, what is happening? So I just think that's really funny. I don't know why that is, but whatever. Um, we're about to just, like, continue hanging out for the night. We're making some, like, snacks, and then we're going to watch some stuff. And I don't know how much more reading I'll get done today because I am getting really tired. Um, but, yeah, hopefully because today was so, like, chaotic, hopefully tomorrow won't be. That's my goal anyways, but you never know. Things go crazy all the time. So I'm going to continue hanging out. And I will check in with you probably tomorrow. If I read tonight, if I don't read, probably tomorrow morning. So I'll see you then. Good morning, guys. So it's Sunday. And apparently while my doggo was outside, we found a package that somehow got delivered. And for some reason, Fiction Guild sent me books, which is weird because it seems like on their Facebook group like that I've been a part of, like it seems kind of defunct. So like... I get really surprised when Fiction Guild books show up, but I'm really excited. There's three books. Um, one of them is a book that I have almost bought so many times. Um, so I ended up getting The Secret of Paper, no, Secrets of Paper and Ink by Lindsay um, Harrell. And she wrote a book last year, The Heart Between Us, and I loved that book so when I knew this book was coming out I almost pre-ordered it and I was like what if the fiction guild sends it to me but then I almost bought it for like my summer books and then I didn't so I'm really glad that they ended up sending this my way um this one will probably end up going to my library and that is the warrior um maiden by Melanie Dickerson she kind of writes fairy tale retellings with a Christian fiction twist and I tried a chapter with the last two books that they sent me of hers and I wasn't a fan and those were like fairy tales that I actually knew and this one I don't think I'm going to be too interested in it looks like it's a Mulan retelling and like I said I unhauled the um Aladdin fairy tale and um, the Goose Girl um, fairy tale, so I don't think that I will be keeping this one. And the last one I'm on the fence with, I think I need to do a little bit more research, and that is um, Castle on the Rise by Christy Cambrin. Um, I was trying to read the back, and it looks like it could be historical fiction, but I can't 100% tell, so I feel like I do need to do a little bit more research. Um, it looks like this could be a series, because there's another book on the back that's called The Lost Castle, and there's on the front it says a lost ca castle novel so i'll have to see if i could even read this without that one or whatnot but i'm excited fiction guild remembers i exist so that's fun so um this morning i read about 50 more pages of forget you know actually a little bit more than 50 pages because i'm on page 120 so about 70 pages of forget you know me um this, today we really just have like grocery shopping things to do so I'm trying to make it like a reading marathon day. So I'm hoping to knock at least two books out today. We'll see if I can do it. Hey guys, so much for me possibly getting two books done today. It's 4.15 and I have been on this couch this whole time trying to finish this book. It was torture. So I finally finished Forget You Know Me by Jessica Strasser. And guys, I really liked last year's book that she came out with and I remembered it being slow but I was like it still was enjoyable this one was ridiculous it took so many random like points of like trying to throw you off and distraction I just I don't even know how to describe it it follows the three perspectives so like I told you so it follows two friends they're like Skyping one night and something ends up happening in the background and then she starts to deny it. So we follow both friends' perspectives plus the husband of one of the um, friends. And I don't know, it was just so convoluted and slow and just too much and the twist at the end wasn't surprising at all. It just kind of was meh. So unfortunately, two stars... And I already probably plan on getting rid of this because it's just, it's not my thing. So that's a bummer because I pre-ordered that really thinking it was going to be awesome and it just didn't live up to my expectations. So I'm going to go take a shower um, and kind of regroup because 
after sitting here for so long just trying to trudge through that I just need to like re-wake up or something because it's that was bad that was torture hey guys so it's about 5 50 we're about to go do some grocery shopping and get some lunch with uh, not lunch it's not lunch time dinner with our friends um I did take my shower and I did start the slightly south of simple by Christy Woodson Harvey this is book one in a trilogy the third book just came out this summer um I believe I'm reading this for books with s that start with s um for Sophia um I literally only read the prologue so I'm not very far at all but just figured I'd give you a quick update Good morning guys, happy Monday. Oh, puppy wants to say hello, hello. Um, it's Monday morning, I didn't end up updating last night. We had a really good time at dinner, and then by the end I was in like a lot of pain for some reason. Um, I don't know why, the, it just like hurt to breathe and things like that. So we just kind of came home and I just hung out with my husband. We were looking into possibly booking our summer vacation which we still can't decide where we're going. Um, so we're looking into that and then we fell asleep and it's been a rough morning. I haven't been able to wake up. It's been hard. I literally, it's taking all my willpower not to call out of work today because I just like, I don't feel great, but I'm gonna tough it out because it's the last week of school with kiddos. So I'm excited. I just want to get it over with. Um, and I really didn't get much reading done this morning because like I said, I really like did not I could not wake up um, so I did read a little bit I read the first chapter so yesterday I read the prologue today I read the first chapter so I'm 20 pages in so far I'm really liking the writing style I think it'll be a lot of fun I just feel like I just need a minute to just like let myself get into the story but we'll see I know I got to go grocery shopping tonight because the grocery store last night ended up closing at 8 and then we were like, oh, well, we'll go to a different one. But then when I was in so much pain, I was like, not having it. So I've got that. I want to clean up around the house a little bit more that I didn't get to yesterday and stuff like that because of that book taking forever. So I've got lots of little things that I want to do. So we're just going to try. But it's Monday and we're going to do this. So I'm going to go get my lunch ready and then I have to head to work. Good morning guys, it's Tuesday, and I'm sorry that I did not update last night. <sighs> I feel like I have no words. It's the last week of school with kids. I mean, I'm still going next week, but like last school week with kids is insane. Um, so last night I came home after like a crazy Monday. These kids are already feeling like it's the first week of summer, even though they still have a whole week left of school. And I just like collapsed on the couch and just like watched TV, like watched my trash TV. And then Patrick came home and we ha ordered some Chinese food uh, because, well, actually it wasn't Chinese because he had sushi and I had pad thai, so that's not Chinese. Um, because we didn't end up getting to go grocery shopping because he ended up talking to coworkers for like an hour. So that meant he got stuck in traffic, which meant no grocery shopping because we were gonna do it together. So I came straight home, so like, it, whatever. Long story short, I didn't end up reading very much. I ended up like crashing by like before nine o'clock because I just, I was tired, it was done. And so I didn't really do too much reading because I just, my mind couldn't handle it. Um, but I was able to read a snippet, like I was like, I'll just read a little bit before bed, I think. Was it before bed that I read? Yeah, just a smidge, but not a ton. Maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking about when I first got home. No, I don't know. I didn't read anything. I don't know. I didn't read anything. I don't know what I'm babbling about. <laughs> but I did read this morning a little bit, and I'm on page 85 now of Slightly, Sim Slightly South of Simple. And I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm really enjoying getting to know these characters. The writing style is very simple and very fun, so I'm excited to keep going. I'm just going at a very slow rate right now. Um, tonight, hopefully, I'm going to get my wedding ring back. Um, but other than that, I don't think we have too many plans. It's raining right now, so I don't know if it's supposed to keep raining or what, but if it's still raining when I get home, I'm either going to be even tireder than I am now, or I'm going to be really in the mood to read. So we'll have to see what the rest of the day holds, but for right now, that's where I'm at. And I'll check in with you guys, hopefully this afternoon. 
This is literally two seconds later, but I also remembered some good news is that we finally booked our little summer vacation last night. So we will be going to um, Saratoga Springs for a couple days um, this summer. So finally got that booked so we could stop like worrying about that because we've been like hunting for places for what feels like weeks and we finally decided. So that was something exciting that we did last night and now I'm off to work. Hey guys, so it's about 10.30, so super late compared to normal. I'm never up this late. I'm exhausted. Um, we got home. We went to the mall because I finally got my ring back. So I'm so excited. Um, we ended up getting some dinner and we came home. And I'm just, and I like tucked into my book. And I ended up finishing Slightly South of Simple by Christy Woodson Harvey. This is book one in a trilogy. Each one is following the mother and one of the sisters. So this one follows Ainsley, like I said, the mother, and um, Caroline. And these three sisters end up back at their mother's house in this, like, Georgia beachy town. Um, and they're all going through something. And um, I really enjoyed it. I ended up giving it four stars. Um, I think the hard part is, like, I know they're companion novels, so I know that they're going to follow new sisters. But it's, like, you get so wrapped into the other sisters' lives that you want to know their perspectives, too. So it was, like, really hard just to have the mom and one sister. But other than that, I really, really enjoyed this. I have no idea what I'm going to read next. I'm going to end up jumping in the shower right now. Um, it's annoying, though. I just, the other day I was folding laundry, and I was like, wow, laundry got folded so fast. And I just went to, like, go switch a shirt because we're tie-dyeing shirts at work tomorrow. And I threw the shirt in the wash because you're supposed to pre-wash it. So I, like, put the shirt in the dryer and there's a whole load of laundry in there. So, whoops. So I know what I'm going to be doing tomorrow afternoon when I get home folding laundry. Um, but I'm going to go sh jump in the shower and then I'm going to go crash. And then it's Wednesday, which means we are halfway through the week. She is so judging me right now. You're judging me. All right, so I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, it's Wednesday, which means we're halfway through the week and I'm so excited. Um, today is our like end of the year party that we're having for our class. We're having pizza and we're doing tie dye and they're gonna watch a movie after. They've been writing adaptations of fairy tales, so I'm going to show them the, like, brandy version of Cinderella, which they enjoyed last year, so I'm excited to see what this class thinks. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be a good day, and then we only have Thursday and a half-day Friday with kids. We can do this. We're almost there. Um, this morning, I decided to start um, The Peach Cobbler Murder by Joanne Fluke. I feel like I've been going in in every other, like, contemporary mystery thriller-ish thing, contemporary mystery-ish thriller thing. So I figured last night I finished my contemporary, so I would start a mystery. So this is 355 pages, even though Goodreads says it's like 380 something, because there's an entire index of recipes and stuff at the back of the book, and then excerpt from the next book. This is technically, I think, like book seven in a series. I haven't read any of the other ones, but I think that they are companion novels. It's a little confusing. There's a lot of characters, but so far it's okay. I'm 60 pages in, so about 300 to go. Should be interesting. Um, I'm going to get ready for work. I was hoping to sweep the floor really quickly before I left. We'll see if I can get that accomplished because I don't have to make lunch today because we're having pizza. So I'm going to go do that, and then I'll check in with you guys after. The goal, though, today, this is me trying to hold myself accountable, is I need to edit and upload the vlog from last week still because I stink and I haven't done that yet. So my goal is to get that done, too, this afternoon when I get home. Um, Patrick has a staff meeting, possibly, so that will give me time by myself. Not that I can't, like, edit around him, but sometimes, like, I can tell it doesn't please him because it can be annoying, but, um, yeah. That's my goal this afternoon is to edit that vlog and upload that vlog and, and keep reading. That's about it. So I'll check in with you guys when I get back this afternoon. Sorry, like accidentally took the back of my earring off and I can't get it back on. All right, see you guys.
Hey guys, it's almost 10 o'clock and I have finally finished editing that video. I made the mistake of doing it upstairs and I fell asleep maybe like 10 times trying to film, like edit it. Like I would like put a clip in and I was like watching it as I go, which normally like I'll watch it through after, but like I was doing it as I go and I kept waking up and I'd be like, oh my God, like that's as far as I got. Like it was bad. It was bad. And then I remember that I never washed my tie dye shirt, which means that it was like probably like I didn't want to mess it up. So now Patrick unfortunately is waiting up for it to wash so that way he can throw it in the dryer. But like I feel so stupid and so dumb. I don't like I wasn't even tired when I came up here, so I don't understand why all of a sudden like I couldn't stay awake. But it's edited, it's uploading, which obviously by the time you see this video, that'll have, obviously have gotten up by now, but like, the joys of the last week of school. So, I'm gonna go to back to sleep, and I will check in with you guys in the morning. So, clearly no reading, so I'm still on page 60, but I need to do what my brain is telling me. My brain is telling me to go to sleep, so I'm gonna go do that. Bye, guys. Good morning, guys. Minnie Mouse. Are you saying hi? Say hi, Minnie. She's crazy, as always. Um, so, it is about 7.20-ish. I'm getting ready to leave for work, as typical. It's Thursday. Almost there. <laughs> um, I didn't read as much as I wanted to this morning. Patrick left early to go to work today because I think... Because he has to leave a little bit earlier in the sense of we have a doctor's appointment today. And I know I also have to leave early, but I'm not going to work early. And he has finals and things like that to grade and stuff. So he went in a little early, which meant that my schedule was off. So I just slept until 6 because I was exhausted. Obviously, you saw me yesterday. I was exhausted. I didn't sleep that great. Um, I think this almost third trimester is finally <laughs> catching up to me where I'm starting to get really uncomfortable. So... I didn't sleep that wonderful, so I just like stayed in bed till six, and then I like poked around on my phone, and like I just read like the last like ten minutes of being in bed, and then I like read now, obviously. So I'm on page 125, so I'm about 30 pages, 30 not 30 pages, 30 percent through the book. It's okay. I'm not loving it, but I'm not hating it. If that makes any sense, I, like I said, I think the hard part is I'm taking this as book seven without reading any of the other books. So there's probably relationship buildups that I'm missing and all that. So it's okay. I'm just not loving it. I'm not hating it. It's just, it is what it is. <coughs> and it helps it. <coughs> Sorry about that. Oh. Um, so yeah, we have a doctor's appointment today at 3.30, which means I have to leave work a smidge early to get there on time. Um, we have the doctor's appointment. I need to pick up something from the store for tomorrow for the last day of school. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, we're getting furniture delivered on Saturday, um, for the baby's room. And her room is still, like, full of, like, paint drapes and old furniture that is not going to be hers that we need to get out of that room like ASAP and I don't know what time the delivery time is yet they don't call you until like tomorrow like the day before they deliver to like hey heads up like it's coming so um we were I was like oh we could totally do it tomorrow like we have a half day and then I remembered Patrick has graduation which means that he will stay up at work until graduation because it doesn't make sense for him to drive the hour here and drive the hour back and then drive the hour back again. So he's going to be staying up there, which means we can't do it tomorrow. And if they give us, like, the first delivery time Saturday, we can't get it done Saturday. And I want to be able to, like, vacuum in there so that way, like, it's already pre-vacuumed before furniture gets put in there and all that. So it's ready to go. But yikes. So all the furniture is coming except the crib because we ordered the crib separately at a separate time. So... Most of the furniture will be here, but not all of it. So we have like some time, but never enough time. So I'm going to go to work and I'll check in with you guys this afternoon.
Hey guys, so it's about 9 o'clock and I figured I would do a check-in. We finished bordering the room, so at least that's one step down. We figured we could do the rest Saturday morning really fast, so before they deliver all the furniture. But the borders up is kind of a pain. Like once you fig once we figured out like the way to do it, it worked out. But it was just like trying to figure out like what's the correct way of putting it on. It was kind of annoying. Um, I only read ten more pages of this, so I'm only on page one thirty six or one thirty five now. So I've got a ways to go. I'm gonna take a shower, but I have a feeling I'm gonna be really really tired still when I get out. So I don't think that I'm gonna do any more reading tonight. But Tomorrow's the last day with students, and I have a half day, and like I said, my husband has graduation, which means he won't be home at all. Um, to, well, he'll be home, but like, he's going to go to work and then stay at work. So I will have that whole rest of the time to devote to this and hopefully reading something else. I'm starting to get to the point where like, I get sometimes with TBRs where like, I get kind of sick of them after a while, and I'm like, I just want to read what I want to read, and I want to read, and, which is stupid, because, like, I made the TBR because I want to read those books, so, like, I don't know. We'll see what's going to happen, but I'm going to go shower, and then I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, guys. It's the last day of school. It's Friday, so I'm so excited. Um, I uh, forgot what I was just going to say. As typical. Um, it's about 7.15 getting ready to leave. Um, I did read this morning. I'm quite impressed with myself and I am now on page 215 of this book, which means I have about 140 pages to go, which I am stoked about because again, I'm not loving it. I don't think it's that great and I don't know if it's because I didn't read the first six books, but I just feel like it's a lot of tell and not a lot of show and there's like a lot of like I guess it's probably because it's a series, so there's, like, a lot of, like, random character stuff that, like, is weird. Like, her cat, Moshi, is, like, almost for hire to catch mice, and, like, whole scenes of that where I'm kind of like, okay, and, like, so it's, I'm not loving it. Um, and I also feel like the hard part, too, is, like, I'm picturing these characters and these characters from the movie are so much older than I am picturing the characters in my head. So, like, I don't know, I feel very disjointed. So, I'm not loving it, but I'm excited to be almost done with it. It's so deceiving, though, because, like, I'm not even kidding. Like I said, the last, like, whole section of it is, like, not even anything. Hold on. I'm trying to do this with one hand, and it's not working. Ah. I don't know. Like, these are all, like, recipes and, like, in the next chapter. I don't know. It's just deceiving. Um, but I'm almost done, and I can't wait. <laughs> and then I don't know what I'm going to read after that. I have a bad feeling I might leave the TBR for a little bit, but I'll see. Um, I'm going to come home today, early dismissal, and poke around the house and clean up and things like that, and hopefully finish that book and start a new one and possibly finish it. Because today's the last day of the vlog, so i got to got to get on that. So, um, I'm going to go to work and I will check in with you guys this afternoon. Hey guys. So it's about five o'clock and I've been home since about two ish. Um, ended up having some lunch and I like, I picked it up and then I came home and I ate lunch and I took about an hour nap and then I've just been kind of hanging out. I'm trying to catch up on some of my 90 day fiance, which is like a show that I watch that my husband can't stand. So I've been trying to catch up on that since he's not home. Um, but I also want to read. So I'm outside with the dog right now after all that incident with the bunny and all that stuff. We don't let her outside by herself until those bunnies have left our yard. Um, so I'm just watching her for a little bit and then I'm going to go inside and hopefully read a bit so that way I can finish that book. But yeah, today's been a good day. Last day of school. My kids had a blast. So the year is over with them. I still have next week to go in, but at least it's one less thing off my shoulders. So I'm going to go inside and read in a little bit, and I will check in with you guys hopefully when I have finished the Peach Cobbler Mystery. That's my plan. Hey guys, so it's about 7.30, and I just finished this book. Um, I made the mistake of like leaving what I was like watching on TV, so I was like double tasking, which is why this took so long. Oh my god, guys. Um, 
So in the beginning, I was thinking like, oh, I'm liking it. Like, I don't love it. Don't hate it. It just kind of is a book. And I was going to give it three stars. The more I read it, the more I don't care for it at all. Um, I know that I'm probably doing myself a disservice with the fact that this is book seven and I haven't read any of the other mysteries in this not in this series, but I, I don't know. I don't like any of the characters. I felt like the conclusion and the wrap up of like, who did it? Like came out of absolutely nowhere. Um, there's like a love triangle going on in this that I just like cannot stand. What are you watching? Look out the window. Um, there's like a love triangle that I just like can't stand that doesn't get resolved and I was just looking at a review and somebody also did the same thing where they started on the seventh book and they're like oh I might read the next book just to see how that like gets resolved and somebody said that it doesn't get resolved for like another seven books no thank you like not looking forward to that torture like I thought it was really interesting because the main character gets really upset about like this guy who's like kind of like acting like he's seeing other people but like she's seeing other people too so like, I don't know it just like it was just really frustrating and I just I didn't enjoy it this is getting on hold it's going bye bye that's actually my fifth book for my like five book wrap up series so I'll probably be filming that tomorrow but I feel like I just keep adding to my to-do list for tomorrow tomorrow my husband has a golf tournament that he's going to be in and I just signed up to go to the dinner part, but we have the baby furniture getting delivered between 4 and 7. The dinner's at 6, so I'll have to see. My parents are going to come over, so that way, like, they're here so I'm not home alone when the furniture comes. But also, like, if the furniture comes too late, they can also just, like, stay here for it. I have laundry to do. I got things to put in the mail. I was debating to going to get my glucose test, my glucose test done because it's like one of those things where you have to like drink it and sit there for an hour and I almost did it today but I didn't have my book on me so I was like no um I got laundry to do I've got vacuuming to do I've just got like the vacuuming part is really hard because it's like I could do it right now like at least the downstairs part because the vacuum's currently down here but Minnie can't stand the vacuum and we just talked about how I can't let her outside by herself so I can't vacuum unless Patrick's home or somebody else can watch her because she will freak out and try to terrorize the vacuum um, and it's just not something I can handle pregnant <laughs> vacuuming and a dog attacking me at the same time it's not gonna work um so yeah I think I don't know like I'm like partially like should I get some stuff done now like I've got cleaning and picking up things that I want to do and then I'm like no I don't wanna so like I don't know. I'm so torn. I should do stuff today just to get out of the way, but I just, I don't have the energy or the motivation to do it. So I'm going to take her outside. I think I'm going to feed her. And I think I might go upstairs for a bit, pick out another book or something. We'll see. But it's Friday, so this is the last day of the vlog anyway. So I'll definitely check in with you before it gets wrapped up. So I'll see you guys when I decide what I'm going to do. Hey guys, so it's about nine o'clock. Oh my gosh, I just like I feel like the day as the day goes, I look crazier and crazier. Um, it's nine o'clock, but I am super proud of myself. I ended up sucking it up, and I got so much stuff done for my list. I cleaned the bathroom downstairs, which was my main goal because these ones upstairs I've done more recently, so like. They're all set, but I had to clean the one downstairs, so that one's clean. I cleaned up all the, like, random odds and ends and things that were all around left on tables just because this week has been chaotic that we've literally been just, like, dumping and running. My book, my, like, school bag is all cleaned out because um, it just ends up becoming, like, a garbage pit at the bottom. <laughs> so, like, any loose papers, all that, like, that got all, like, dealt with. I dealt with all my end-of-the-year presents and, like, got all them, like, all the bags all settled and, like, put the bags in the attic. <laughs> Um, I even, let's see, what else did I do? Um, like I said, all those odds and ends are picked up. Um, I'm not paying my bills today, but I got all my bills organized and ready to go so that way I could pay them when they're due. Um, what else did I do? What else? I cleaned up the floor up here so that way tomorrow when the vacuum comes upstairs, because I'm not allowed to bring the vacuum upstairs and downstairs because it's heavy, so... 
Um, that's my husband's job. So when that gets brought upstairs, I get to like vacuum because everything's already picked up off the floor and like ready to go. Um, yeah, I just feel like feel super accomplished. Um, the flowers that my students gave me actually ended up in a vase, which is impressive because normally I'm awful with that. Um, so yeah, I feel really, really accomplished. I, um, feel like there was something else. There was three things on my list that I wanted to do and I can't remember. Oh no. Okay. I did them. Um, so yeah, so tomorrow that what's left is obviously vacuum all the rooms and I want to vacuum the couch, um, which I told you I couldn't do because of other things. I possibly am going to go do my glucose test which is like an up in the air thing anyways. I do have to go to the post office. That's not on my list right now, but it's going to be on my list to um, Chloe and I are going to be exchanging books and she's great and her books are already in the mail to me and I am not so good. So those are going to be on the mail hopefully for her tomorrow. Um, let's see what else. We have to finish emptying the baby's room for the furniture, but that's mostly my husband's job. I can't touch that, so that's on the list, but it'll be checked off by him. I'm going to film a video tomorrow, which was going to include my last five reads. So that's something that I'm going to do tomorrow because I already knew I looked crazy right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, I feel really good. I'm, I feel much better than I felt earlier. So I feel like, oh, and laundry because I couldn't do, I could have done laundry today, but I had a feeling my husband was going to be coming home later than he actually is. And he hates putting laundry away. So I was like, he's going to get so mad if he comes home at like 10 o'clock at night and there's laundry all over the bed. So for him to put away, because I will wash it, I'll fold it, but I'm not putting his laundry away. So I was like, he's going to get mad if I do that. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. But like I said, that's easy peasy stuff to do. So I'm excited. I took the garbage out. Like... <laughs> I'm accomplished. Um, and I picked out my next read, which is a change to my TBR, but I'm going to do Secrets at the Beach House by Diane Chamberlain because I needed a book that took place between 1985 and 1992 or something like that, whenever the Golden Girls years were on TV. And originally I picked a different Diane Chamberlain book, forgetting that I have this one left, and this one is about a beach house. So this would be one that would make much more sense to read now than the other one. So I'm going to read this one next. It's almost 500 pages, but I've been saving it for a weekend or a time where I knew I could devote a lot of time to it. The tagline says, keep or share them, but you will never forget them. So I'm excited about that. And then I don't know if I mentioned it. I'm about to treat myself a little bit to a like book or two from Barnes & Noble. Um, I have my Barnes & Noble coupons that I still haven't used for this month. And... Um, I got this in my mailbox yesterday and it is from our English as a second language teacher, so our ESL teacher. She, um, kind of told, like, not really, like, challenged us this year, but we're not a very diverse school when it comes down to it. We definitely have English language learners and stuff like that, but our, cult, like, cultural sensitivity, I guess you can say, I don't know. Our school is predominantly white, um... So, we don't embrace cultures as much as I think we should, I guess you could say. And I, I don't know, I'm not wording it right. Um, so, she kind of gave us the push this year of being like, read books from different cultures, read books from different countries, and like, let me know when you read them and I'll give your class a point kind of thing. So, like, my class felt like they were like earning points trying to like, read all these books from different countries. And I really pushed for it this year. Um, I had a lot of different cultures in my room specifically, so we talked about different holidays, which, um, and try to show how cultures can be very different, but very similar, and belief of we all want the same thing, we just go about it a little bit differently, and I really tried to embrace that diversity and that culture in my classroom this year, and as a thank you card, she gave me a $15, um, what do you call it, gift card to Barnes & Noble, so I'm gonna go spend that and I will probably check in with you guys. Well, I was just going to say tomorrow, but I was just going to say it'll probably end up being in the next vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. This is a long segment. I apologize. But I will see you guys in my next vlog, which will be week three already. So six challenges down, four to go. We can do this.